what is happening currently from 11 a.m. to now? What are some of the things that are happening there at the National Tiling Centre? Well, that was the last uh, announcement of the verified results uh, that they announced at that time at 11. They took a break. They promised to be back at 12.30. They have not shown up yet. And throughout the morning, the verification exercise has been going on and the commissioners have been announcing the results and the returning officers have been uh, presenting those results to the IEBC chairman. 185 returning officers are here at the Bomas of Kenya. They have brought with them the forms 34A and 34 B, the forms 34B, that is what they have filled after collating uh, the forms 34A from the polling centers in their constituencies, that is 40,883 polling centers in the 290 constituencies. And so, as of now, 78 uh, cons uh, constituencies have had their results uh, verified. That is being displayed on a screen uh, to my left. So, 78 constituencies have results verified, and according to those results, the valid votes, 2,700,735 rejected votes, 14,002 201. And of those votes, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta has 2,660,673 uh, votes. Those are the verified votes from the 78 constituencies. But on the portal, the IEBC portal, it indicates that there are 246 constituencies that have posted their results are there. So if you take the constituencies whose uh, election was cancelled yesterday, that is 27 constituencies, then we are waiting for about 18 constituencies to upload their results on the portal. But physically, the forms uh, being brought here and verified and being announced, we are still waiting for 186 constituencies uh, to have their results uh, verified and announced. But Akisa, more importantly, we are waiting for a status update by the IEBC. Throughout the morning, what they have been doing is just coming out onto the stage and announcing the results from the constituency, a particular constituency, what a number of votes the candidates got, but we have no update or uh, an opportunity to speak to the IEBC commissioners or the chairman and ask questions. Yesterday, IEBC chairman Wafula Chebukati promised twice that he would give an opportunity for journalists to ask questions. Very many questions are still uh, lingering on. One of them is about numbers. And what the IEBC is doing is it's chosen perhaps to communicate uh, through Twitter. On this screen to my left, uh, those figures that I've just spoken about, the 78 uh, constituencies that have had their results uh, verified and that uh, 2.7 million votes, it indicates, the screen indicates that it is a 45.32 voter turnout. But we are asking, we can't confirm from anyone, is that 45 voter turnout of the 78 uh, constituencies that have verified their results or the 290 constituencies that are being and displayed or the 290 constituencies in the country without even minusing the 27 whose election uh, was cancelled. So very many issues we want to raise with the IEBC chairman. Remember on election day, on the 26th, initially he had indicated there was a 48% voter turnout and later through his Twitter handle uh, scaled down that and indicated uh, there were 6.5 million Kenyans who turned out to vote and that would translate to about 33%. Then yesterday, the commission announced, that was in the press statement now, they announced that 5,319 polling centers had not opened or sent uh, the opening signal, and the chairman explained that maybe it was due to lack of network coverage. So they have not told us, of those 5,319 constituencies, did they manage finally to send their open signals? Did they manage to open? Have they established what exactly happened? Because... If that 5,319, some of them then managed to open or send that signal, that number has reduced. And what the commissioner, the IEBC chairman, has uh, uh, decided to do is communicate through his Twitter handle where he says, please note that as more devices get network and report, the turnout figures get updated. So uh, that 5,319 how many did they get network and how many figures did they update? From that uh, figure of 48% turnout to 33, was, did it have anything to do with this figure of 5,319? Because as of now, 
on the portal, it indicates that the IEBC has managed to uh, get forms 34 a 37,155. And remember, from the 27 constituencies uh, whose election was cancelled, uh, the uh, figures that the IEBC gave is that 3,635 polling centers will not be uh, uh, transmitting any results because elections did not take place. So the figure on the portal of 37,000, if you add that 3,000 uh, from the polling stations that won't be transmitting any results, you're just left with 93 polling centers whose results are yet to be displayed on the portal. So we need to find out from the IEBC commissioners what exactly happened to the 5,319 that they had earlier indicated had not uh, opened or sent a signal. Did they manage finally to get network and send the signal? And what is the status of the voter turnout now? Even on the local media, Akisa, you will notice that several figures, each station are displaying different figures from the commission it would be only best for the Commission to turn up and confirm for sure what is the voter turnout, what is the percentage, how many Kenyans turned out to vote now that they say they have received results uh, from 37,000 uh, 155 uh, polling centers across the country. The issue of the voter turnout, one of the major issues, as well as the issue of uh, the areas where the election was postponed again, the election which was to happen today in 27 constituencies in uh, four counties. And even in those four counties, I'll give the example of the county of Kisumu. Kisumu has seven constituencies. One of the constituencies, Kisumu West, uh, in the portal indicates it is uh, transmitting its results on the portal, but it's still on the list of the constituencies whose election has been cancelled. So some of the clarification we would like to seek from the IEBC chairman, including the numbers, the issue of the Kisumu West constituency, in one of them on the list of the constituencies whose election has been postponed, still it is transmitting its results, despite the fact that only 51 people turned up to vote. That constituency is uh, on the list uh, of constituencies, as I mentioned, whose repeat election is yet to be announced the date, as well as transmitting the results. Yesterday, Akisa, uh, the IEBC commissioner, I'd say, uh, chairman rather, I would say tactfully, managed to evade any questions uh, from the media. In the first briefing yesterday, he came here, made a statement. Uh, we sought to ask several questions. He said, wait a minute, let me launch the verification of the exercise. And from the stage, he just walked down, launched the verification exercise, and walked away. When he came back again, he announced results from several constituencies and noted that I know I promised you I would answer several questions, give me a few minutes, I'll be back. When he came back, it's like he had not promised anything. They continued announcing the results and up to till, till now, we have not had the chance to ask any questions uh, to the IEBC commissioner. And more interestingly, even when he announced that 48% uh, turnout, uh, the reduction to when he announced 6.5 million people had turned out to vote, that is only on his Twitter handle. The IEBC official Twitter handle has not uh, uh, indicated anything about the voter turnout of the people who turned out to vote. So one would ask, why is the chairman choosing to use his own Twitter handle and not the IEBC official handle or issue a statement verbally to the cameras? The media is here. Why not issue a statement, uh, clarify these issues, and then if it will put so many questions to rest, Akisa. Right, and uh, Rita, quite comprehensive there. We will be hoping that uh, the chairperson of the IBC will be responding to questions. A lot of clarification, uh, like Rita says, uh, are needed with regard to this particular election, the uh, streaming in of results, and uh, consequently the tallying uh, that's uh, currently ongoing at the Bournemouth of Kenya, which is the national tally.